This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm taking this really kind of beat up cutting board and I'm going to upcycle it using Mod Podge and napkins. So let's get started. The napkins are from Dollar Tree and they're these really cute butterfly napkins. And I am going to be making this for my mom. And so she's got like this blue background in her kitchen. So I thought this would be perfect. I also have this letter E and I'm going to be painting this. I'm going to paint it. I'm thinking white. I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm going to be, I'm going to paint this because I don't want it to be this, um, this color. So that's a nice thing too. This was also from the Dollar Tree. And so if you see these with all the patterns on them, you don't have to use that pattern. You could always change it. If you want to spray paint it, you could do that too. So this letter E starts with my mom's name. And this is a really nice gift idea, but it's also a good housewarming gift. And it's a great gift for Mother's Day. I'm going to be mixing my paint because I want my surface to have a really light, light shade of blue. I'm hoping that these um, images will still pop through. So I don't want it to be too dark, but I do want it to have a very faint shade of blue before we cover it with our napkins. So I'm using this blue cotton apple barrel acrylic paint, and I'm gonna mix it with the white. Let's see if I have a, another bottle of this. Okay, so this is just a plain, a plain white. I don't usually use this size bottle, but since I've been mixing my paints later, lately and wanting to lighten them up, I've been, I said, let me go ahead and get this larger bottle. It was about $2.50 at Walmart. I'll make sure I list everything you need below. I'm just gonna be mixing this. You'll also need some of the foam brushes, although some people use the regular brushes too. So you just use what you have. I think I want it even lighter than that. And just mix until you get the consistency that you need. And for since I'm going to be painting a somewhat of a large surface, I'm going to be mixing quite a bit of paint. Okay, so I'm going to start painting this and this cutting board was only a dollar and 52 cents at Goodwill. Now I've seen some other cutting boards there that would um, different sizes. So this might be a nice upcycle project if you want to do something um, that's easy to do. You can try try starting with some of the wood stuff. It's one of those projects that's quite economical. And so if I'm not happy with the way this paint the shade of this paint is I could always lighten it up or add more blue to darken it up but I think this is going to be perfect on the first try and it's getting really good coverage look how fast that first coat went on just like that and I normally mostly Mod Podge or Deco Podge on glass so it's always nice to kind of change up a little bit and do the wood. I'm going to be doing both sides of this including the side areas also just to make it more uniform but if you don't want to do the back you know it's going to be hanging on the wall you don't have to do it like I know my mother's going to hang this on the wall in her kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and keep painting this. I'm going to do two uh, coats just because I can see some of the wood showing through on here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And then once it dries, we'll move on to the next, the next part. Okay, so, so far, I went ahead and painted my E, and I was gonna paint the whole thing, and then I thought to myself, you know what? I like it with the paint, because it adds a little bit of dimension to it, and it'll still, It'll, I think it'll look great. It'll still go with the napkins. So I think that I think that's a good choice to leave it like that. So since it has a solid color. Okay, so let's take a look at this napkin. 
and someone sent me this through Happy Mail, so thank you so much. Look how pretty that is. Lots of butterflies, so my mother is going to love this. So don't forget, if you go to the thrift store or a Goodwill, um, look for some of these napkins in there. Um, you can also find not only the napkins, but the cutting board too. Um, of course, this is a Dollar Tree napkin, but you'll be surprised at the crafty things that you find in these thrift shops. Okay, so this, now I'm going to start tearing it apart because I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to just be like just cookie cutter with straight edges. I like to tear on some of my things. So I'm going to go ahead. I just separated it. And normally I don't separate it first. I usually tear it first and then separate, but it should work out still. So I definitely want those pink and yellow butterflies on here. And so best thing to do is rip up the the artwork that you want on here first and then start applying it with your Mod Podge. And this should have a nice effect on it. This is like a light, it's a really light shade of blue, but it should still work. So we'll see what happens with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip a couple of these out and then we're gonna start applying them to our cutting board. Okay, so I ripped up several pieces here and there may be more that I need to rip up. I just tried to keep the full illustration or artwork of the butterfly on there. So I wasn't really exact, but I want to fill up the whole board. And I am going to attach this E over this, so I'm not worried about like maybe up in this part here. But I think I'm ready to go. I've got my saran wrap or cellophane wrap or yeah, saran wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on here. And don't forget, it doesn't have to be like perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. And I may end up making this one smaller. I'm not sure yet. So I did change this out and I'm using the uh, Mod Podge. And that's the one I usually use all the time. So I'm just going to start with just a little bit at a time. And don't forget to remove that backing on those two ply napkins. Um, because if you don't, and I learned this when I first started doing decoupage and mod podge, it will start to really wrinkle up. Okay. So your cellophane wrap is going, I keep calling it cellophane wrap. Your, your saran wrap or cling wrap is going to help smooth out illustration. So I'm just going to go right here. Just start to work. So wherever I apply this, I want the surface to be completely covered. And you don't need a whole lot. Okay, and then I'm just going to put this right on a little bit more over in this area. Because I want to make sure that you have Mod Podge on the entire surface. Let me make sure you can see this right on the entire surface where you're going to be laying it down. You want to make sure you have enough Mod Podge right underneath that. And so all I'm doing now is just kind of smoothing it out, not using my hands, although sometimes I get tempted to, but if you use your hands, the, um, the cling wrap will stick to your fingers and it'll rip. So I'm just kind of smoothing it out toward the edges here. Okay, let's put the next one on. Let me try to keep my brush strokes going in the same direction. And this piece just happens to be a straight edge. Nope, don't want that. I'll use this one. The nice thing about butterflies is that they can be flying in all different directions. And it has, if it has a few wrinkles, it's fine. So I'm just filling up space and I'm not going, I'm staying away from this right now because I just want to uh, have the first layer underneath, the first layer of Mod Podge underneath and then we're going to go back over it with another layer. 
once we get everything on here. Let's see, I need a skinnier piece. And I'm, I don't mind that this is going off over the sides. I'm okay with that. So I'll put a little bit of Mod Podge right on the sides there. So that one's going to go over the edge. So you notice I'm staying away from this other parts here. Just putting a little bit over here. And I'm just going to smooth it down. And you see I'm, I'm not going up and down. I'm kind of starting in the middle to get the bubbles out. And then just working my way toward the edges. You just want to have fun with it. Don't get so stressed if, if it has a few wrinkles. Just keep going. It's a work of art. All right. You see, I'm not focusing because <laughs> I went the other direction with the Mod Podge. So, I'm trying to get like smooth layers there. Let's see. I'm going to just take that off. I'm going to put it that way. Oh, the butterfly's a little bit upside down, but butterflies can be random though. Can't they? They can fly in all kinds of directions. And I'm just going to go ahead and just cover this with some of the um, napkins also. And it's okay because the E is going to go right over it. But I'm going to still cover it just to make it look more. I think it'll just look better that way. Yep, and see my butterflies are upside down there. They're just going wherever. Which is what butterflies do, don't they? Just gonna continue going straight up. Just even cover that top part there. And my mother is going to love this. Okay. Go right down the sides here. Remember, I'm just taking bits and pieces of napkin. And it's just such a budget-friendly craft, too, and a great gift idea. Um, you, you'll be surprised with the things you have in your home that you can make wonderful gifts with, um, rather than going out and spending more money buying for someone. Um, make them a handmade gift. They would really appreciate it. And when I do go to Goodwill or to or some of the um, some of the other stores, I try to look in the glass section and the cutting board section because you really find some nice, unique finds in those places. So yep. Yeah. Want to make a new unique gift? Go ahead and make it yourself because there's no, nothing like this has ever existed. And so it's not something you're going to find in a store already made. It's been made by you. So that makes it even more unique. So I'm just going to take this one and rip it off. I want to fill in a little bit of that space right there. And I know my mother likes bling, so more than likely I'm going to put some, some pearls on here for her just to add a little bit of something. Oops. Keep forgetting not to use my hand. Get another little tiny piece to put like right here. Hmm. You see some of these have just a little bit of wrinkles in it. All I'm doing is gonna go over it. And you know, when, I, when it dries, I notice that a lot of the wrinkles go away they just kind of flatten themselves out. And plus I have another layer of Mod Podge to put on here too. Yeah, so this is starting to dry. This is a great weekend craft too. Put some right there. Just rip that off a little bit. Rip that part off. 
So just take your time with it. And like I always say, just have fun. So I have to see what I want to do with this top area here. Let's see what I got here. Right up in there. Coming around the side. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the top. I might add some flowers up there. I'm just not, not sure yet. I might. It's tearing a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just going to tear that off and smooth it right on there. Okay, and so here's what we have so far. And I still, I'm going to add some of this to it, but I want to wait until I put my second coat of Mod Podge on here first, and then I'll put the other one on there. So this is what we have so far. I'm going to put my mother's letter on here, just like that. I'm going to add some bling to it. So I'm going to wait a little bit to let this dry. And while I'm doing that, I may as well add something to my E. Okay, so I've got these really pretty sticker gems. Dollar Tree. I just want to see what happens with these on here. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty. I think she'll like that. Let's see. I'm going to take a little bit of my Mod Podge. And what I did with this E after I painted it, just to let you know, I wanted a, some gloss on it. And so I put this acrylic sealer on there. It's the Elaine's acrylic sealer. And so that's kind of like a little protector and it adds a sheen to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Mod Podge on here right along the edge there. Add my gem for my pearls. Because my mother loves, she loves her jewels. Okay, once I have it in place, it's gonna be like the fanciest cutting board, okay? <laughs> and you can do as much bling as you want on this. Okay, let's see what I got here. Just gonna make sure I'm getting it okay. Nice thing is that this can be, you can cut these individually and add them, or you can cut the whole string off, which is nice too. So I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. Adding my gems on there, my pearls. I think that bling wrap from Dollar Tree would look nice on here too. I really think that would look nice. Ooh, I'm liking that. I hope y'all are getting some ideas from this. Okay. My hands are pretty sticky right now. This is so pretty. And that one will go off to the side like that. I'm just going to cut that one away and add it in individually since it doesn't want to go. And I only I've only seen this these letters at one Dollar Tree. I didn't see it at any any of the other Dollar Tree stores, so. So if you find these, grab it up. Hopefully they'll have your initial. Okay, and I'm just gonna add some more in individually. Um, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Because I am having a whole lot of fun doing this. Okay, and so my E has been pearlized. <laughs> if that's a word. So I've got all my pretty blue pearls on there. I absolutely love that. And it looks really good with that pink. I hope it comes through on camera. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna put this aside because that's still drying on there. And this is actually gonna go like right 
here, somewhere like that. Right there, there, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to take some more Mod Podge and now I'm just going to smooth it over the whole thing. And I'm just doing it gently. And that way it kind of all looks consistent. And don't worry about, um, about it being cloudy. That's how Mod Podge works. It's going to have a nice shiny feel to it. Or shiny look, I should say. A glossy look. And so I'm kind of going out toward the edges so the edges don't come up. So you just want to take your time and, and not rush it. I almost forgot about those parts hanging off the edges there. And I did do one for Christmas. I think it was like a poinsettia um, cutting board. Yeah, it was a poinsettia cutting board um, napkin and I put it on a cutting board. So that was my first cutting board I did. So I'll post that video below for you. This is pretty good. Now I see a few wrinkles right there. And I'm just gently pressing them out, but I don't really worry about them too much. Actually, I don't worry about them at all. <laughs> you know what I say, wrinkles mean character, right? <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline this. And I didn't know this at first that I wanted to do this, but I was just, once I got started, you just start thinking of different ideas. That's how it goes. So I'm going to put some pearls around it. And I'm going to let this dry. The Mod Podge usually gives a really good hold because it's sticky. It's, it's, a, it's like a glue. So I'm going to put those pearls on there with the while the Mod Podge is wet. So I have these, these white pearls and I have some of the blue ones. I'm going to go around the edges with the white. I think my mother would like that. And so I'm just tail tailoring it um, kind of in her style, what she, what she would want. And so that's the nice thing about the gift giving is that you just tailor it the way the person would want it. Now here's another thing I can do with the pearls. I can just go right along the side here with the pearls, bling it out there, or I could just go right along the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and put these on, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, we are almost to the end. And look at that. It's got a nice shine on it, and I love the way the napkin comes over the edges. So I'm, I'm, I kind of like that effect. So I'll have to remember in the future to do that. I really love the way this turned out. And so let me see if you can get a close-up of the pearls on there. Just a nice way to kind of bling it out. And then I took some blue ones and just kind of randomly put them around the top and the bottom, leaving the space here for the E. And so now I'm going to hot glue this on right there. And my mother is going to love this. This is just, this just says her. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to use some, some tacky glue, get a good hold on it. So this is just some Aline's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. And this should hold pretty good along with some hot glue. This is a fun project, I have to tell you. So if you see those plain wooden containers um, at Goodwill, make sure you scoop those things up. Okay, so now I'm just going to press it on here. So it gets a really good hold on there. Oh my goodness, this actually came out better than I thought. You know, you have that idea in your mind and you're just not sure. And then you come up with this, all these other ideas while you're going through the process. So I will definitely post a picture of this at the end. My mom is going to absolutely love this. 
Uh, make sure you give it some time to dry. I let it dry for about 30 minutes so where it's it's able to be handled. So it's nice and dry, just a tiny bit sticky, but if you let it dry overnight for 24 hours, you're good to go. 48 hours is gonna be perfect. So this is all done. I hope you were inspired by this. I know I had a lot of fun doing it. And don't forget to get those wooden containers or whatever you see that's wood from uh, the Goodwill or if you're going to a thrift store, just because it looks like a plain box. I know I've seen some wooden boxes also. Uh, pick them up and you can put some paint on there and some napkins and you will be good to go. So I'll see you real soon. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I really enjoy sharing with all of you. See you real soon. Bye.